Hello everyone, in today's video I'm going to be showing you how I made these Oreo cake pops. To begin, I took half of a pint of a heavy whipping cream. This is a one pint size, but I'm only going to be using half of the bottle. And I'm going to whip it up. Once my whipping cream was ready, I set it aside in another bowl. Now I'm going to add one entire cream cheese stick to my bowl. It has to be really nice and soft at room temperature. And I'm going to mix it up until it's nice and smooth. Now I'm going to add three big spoonfuls of powdered sugar. You can add more or less sugar depending on how sweet you want your frosting to be. After I added my sugar, I continue mixing my frosting. I like to help out my mixer and scrape the side of the bowl with my spatula to make sure that everything is getting really nice and well incorporated. Once my cream cheese and my sugar are really nice and smooth, I added my whipping cream back into my bowl. Now I'm going to mix that up again. Now I will be adding 20 crushed Oreos that I just crushed up in my blender. Once everything is well mixed, the frosting is done. For my cake, I just used this box cake mix and I substituted the water with milk and the oil with butter. Now I'm going to just be cutting off a piece because I don't plan to be making that many cake pops. The amount of frosting in this recipe is enough to turn this whole cake into cake pops. If you make the whole cake, you will get approximately 35 to 40 cake pops. Now I'm just going to crumble up my cake. Make sure your hands are really nice and well cleaned. Once it was nice and crumbled, it's time to add some frosting into it. As you can see, I have plenty of frosting left over. You just want to eyeball this. If it gets too dry, you can always add more frosting and if it's too wet, you can always add more cake. Once you can roll it into a ball without it falling apart, it's perfect. Now I'm going to begin making my cake balls. I just like to eyeball them to about one inch balls. You can always use a cookie scoop to make it easier for you. Once I was done, I put them in the fridge for about half an hour or you can put them in the freezer for about 10 minutes. Now I'm going to be taking some white chocolate. I bought this one on Amazon and I'm going to put some into my mug so that I can melt it in my microwave. I'm going to put it in there for about 30 seconds until they are nice and melted. I'm going to be using this chocolate to stick my lollipop sticks to my cake pops. Now I'm just going to take my lollipop sticks and put them in the chocolate and stick them into my cake pops. You want to stick them in about halfway. Now I'm going to put them in the fridge for about 5 minutes to let the chocolate set. Now I'm going to be making the marble effect. To do that I will be melting some white chocolate. I just melt the chocolate in my microwave for about 30 seconds. In another mug, I'm also going to be melting some milk chocolate chips. Here.
Here I'm just putting a piping bag over a cup to make it easier for me to pour my milk chocolate into it. You can also use a little Ziploc bag and cut the little corner of it if you don't have a piping bag. Now all I'm going to do is put some milk chocolate on top of my white chocolate like this. And then you're going to take your cake pop, dip it in, and twist it on your way out. That creates the marble effect. Here I kind of forgot to tap off the excess, but I'll be showing you how to do that in the next method. I like to keep adding some milk chocolate on top of my white chocolate each time I dip a cake pop in there. For my next design, all I'm going to do is dip my cake pops in some white chocolate, tap off the excess, and add some crumbled Oreos on top. For my third cake pop decoration, I'm going to dip it in some white chocolate, tap off the excess, and drizzle some milk chocolate on the top like this. For this last one, I decided to do drizzles going both ways like this. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you guys give this delicious recipe a try.